Hey guys, Nathan here, and today we're going to take a little bit of a trip down memory lane. Today I thought I would look back on an old video, one that is technically, it's like, I would say it's like my first video, it's my first talking video. I have other videos that are older, but they're just kind of weird. We're not going back to the first, first video because no. This video that I'm going to watch today is my free Tom review and I'm just gonna look at little snippets of it and see how it was when I was filming back then. I think it's a from memory it was an interesting video to watch like I don't know it was didn't make sense or it didn't something was wrong so I, it was unlisted for a while and then I put it back on because I thought why not because people seem to actually like it and watched it so I put it back up but yeah that's was my first video to get traction and it was my first legitimate video in general why am I doing this why am I doing a look back at this kind of thing well I have just hit a milestone on my channel which is I hit um, 1,000 subscribers which is shocking because I don't understand why someone would subscribe but I am very grateful nonetheless whether you're new or you're old I don't really care it's like I am very grateful for any support that I get really so yeah this is like a little bit of a celebratory this is a little bit of a celebr wow I can't speak this is a little bit of a celebratory video that was awful. This is a quite a long video, so I'm gonna be chopping bits out of this. I can tell the one that I'm going to watch at 17 minutes long. So I did have a couple of other options um, to watch, but this one won the vote on Instagram. So this is what I'm going with. Hopefully it's loud enough. Oh, I had music. Okay. It says one word and I'm like, what? who the fuck is that? <laughs> So today, I am going to be doing a review. I sound so small, I sound like a child. That, that is very shocking to hear. It's like, specifically like from, if you've watched my, um, like timeline, what do you call that? Like comparison videos, like, I think my voice here is even higher than those and the ones where I was pre-T there, it was like, still deeper than this. So this is a lot. <laughs> of the Free Tom Sleek 5 inch And I also just can. look very small. Like my face is so wide at the moment, like not at the moment, like from this. It's very interesting. Unpainted 2-in-1 STP. This video is an educational video. Underage people need to see this video. Do not flag it. There are trans people who are under the age of 18 who have dysphoria who need products like these. This product is not- Spitting facts. I also love how the camera is not focusing at all on my face. It's focused on one of- it's chosen one of the people in the Game of Thrones poster. Not me at all. I also seem like very like shy like scared almost if you know what I mean like very skittish like I don't know what's going on if you want to leave this video you don't want to see a dick go away I have just realized now that my camera is focusing on Daenerys look away ah, you don't want to see a prosthetic this was also my first STP that I had tried so I didn't really know that much it's like, it's not that it was bad or anything, it was, it's okay, but yeah, definitely got some better ones now. I am changing positions because stupid camera is focusing on people in the background, that's not what it needs to do. Fair enough. This prosthetic has the new urethra, but as you can see... Oh my god, my biggest pet peeve with these STPs, you know how they do the squeeze head thing? Why is that helpful? I really don't understand that. Do any of you like feel the same way about that because that pisses me off so much because no one's gonna look at the end of your dick it's like why is that a thing that you have to pinch it it's like that's just an extra it's like you're already like 
cupping all this shit and like moving shit around and trying to make everything else work. You don't want to have to worry about squeezing the end just right. Like that's so annoying. I don't understand why people would want that. That's my opinion on it, but yeah, so I modified this. That's why it looks funky. Does free time exist anymore? I've never seen any like some new stuff of theirs come out. I think they went out of business or something. I haven't heard of them for a long while, like a couple of years, I feel like. When I got it, it came in this box. Little box. It had so small. a little invoice thing. I'm allowed to say small bean to myself because it's me. No one else can say that about me, okay? <laughs> that's, that's, I look tiny, that's why. I think when I first washed this, like one of the first few times, I might have used something that was not water-based. So it started to like get little marks on it and stuff. Can you see that? Is it focusing? I have no idea. Yeah, mine started to disintegrate. Little bits missing off it. I did get another one that was the Rogue and it was a different texture. So I don't know, I might have just got like a dodgy one with weird silicon, but yeah. The second one that I got was much better than this one. You know, like a hose, it would just stop like anything from coming through and then it would Love just it. go everywhere. So, you don't want that. Also, I want to make a side note. This is, I'm pausing it a lot, I'm so sorry. But, um, I have headphones in, as you can see. I was so, like, scared of filming and, like, was, like, really, like, I don't know, it just helped me feel a bit more calm to put a headphone thing in. It's like, as much as I would like filming or I wanted to start filming, it was very um, scary to start off for me. So that kind of helped me for that first video. I don't know why for someone that was feeling like scared and like, like really shy and that, why I would choose to talk about a fucking penis for my first legitimate video. That doesn't make sense to me. But that's what I did, so there you go, there's some extra info if I don't mention it at some point in the video. Alcoholics. So this is it compared Australia. to a can. Nice. So it is it's about It's pretty big in your pants. The shaft is about as long as a can. I think it is. It looks like it. So the colour of this is, even though I'm pale as fuck, um, it's still, it's too light for me. So I'm legit like a ghost. And I'm like the whitest person of all time. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. For tan, it's got pretty pink undertone. I've always noticed that with a lot of prosthetics, like their palest one that I would think that would be for me is still like too pale. It's like, who was that made for? It's like ghostly white and ghost, like so pale. I don't know. So I was thinking about possibly dyeing this. I mean, it's okay. I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. How the fuck you gotta dye that? I don't know how to dye things. What am I saying? I did not dye it, but how was I gonna do that? When I took it out of the box, I was like, that's a penis. It ah. took me by surprise how realistic it actually was. It might not look it, but when you manhandle it, you're like, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> As an S I don't know why people say cup the balls, you don't like fucking yeah, yeah. you just like press it up a little bit. Wow. You need like one finger. You have to put Very it directly helpful. underneath you because it's cup, no shit, and then it just goes straight down. If you hold it like this, it is not going to work. It is stupid. It goes down and then you pull it. <laughs> a bit harsh, aren't I? <laughs> also, I don't know why people like bash the balls. Because, bash the like, balls. They're not that bad. No one sees them. Yeah, no one sees the balls on any of these when you're using it as an STP. I don't know why it's such a big deal what the balls look like and also the end of- that's like my two main things, the balls and the head, like the actual urethra opening. It's like they don't really matter what they look like, just make it work the best in my opinion. And I don't know why people are like, oh they're hollow all this. It's actually got extra silicone. I'm so on savvy. The, um... the way I'm so like sassy. Damn. Like, calm down. Um, because when you're peeing and you're already holding the balls up, 
It's a lot of work. You don't really need to be also fiddling with this tip exactly. to make sure the Listen. liquid actually comes out. And any longer, it would be kind of a pain packing wise. Be a fucking schlong. Massive. I have not lost it. I have not used it in public at all. I still haven't I'm used not one. Very in public. good at using it. The one I've got now, I can use it like every time without leaking. It is perf, so I recommend that one. The soft, ultra soft STP from Packer Gear. So not their cheap $15 one, it's like $30 I think. But like, it's so much better than whatever I paid for this. What was this? $150, but I had a discount, but like, it works so much better. So things are definitely improved since like this video. This was 2017. This kind of flops down and in underwear. I don't know how I wore free toms without looking like I had a massive wang. Like, I know that I didn't look like I had a massive wang, but like, far out there, big. Like, it was rubbing on my thigh and I like got like a full on, like, yeah. massive that wasn't fun. chafe mark on my leg from packing with this thing for like 10 hours and it just like, it rubbed me raw. Like, I've got like a slight scar on there now. I don't know if you need to say it like that, but... This is another one I made and it's starting to... I'll need to re -sew this. If you do want to make a harness like that, I would just suggest what I discovered after this is you don't even need the hair tie, you just do one slit and then you reinforce the top, reinforce the bottom with extra stitching, that way it doesn't rip further. So that's a bit easier because it wasn't have so many points that will rip off then. And it's a bit more, well not staple, it's a bit easier to make, easier to use to be honest. So if you're going to try and make something like that, do it that way. But otherwise there's a bunch, like even my harnessy thing that I got was like $15 and it's just like the waistband in a couple holes that you can shove shit in. So I recommend getting one of those if you don't want to do that. But some things you don't, or you can even get, if you just have a packet you can put it in a um, packing pouch, like Joey's got packing pouches. There's lots of different options now, so you don't need to be as janky as this. People say to let this prosthetic air dry, but I can't really leave a I love that. That's hilarious. Dick how it's around. like, we'll leave it to air dry. It's like, imagine just leaving your dick in the middle of like the kitchen, just like sitting there just because it needs to air dry. How that would be a sight to see. I'm sure some people do that. Well, the thing that would make the most sense would leave it in the bathroom, but like, still people use this bathroom too. So like, why not put it on show if you have an air dry? <laughs> I, I still don't air dry things, so I just give it a tap. Give it a tap, give it a wipe, and it's fine. Through watching this, I know why I look so young. It's because I don't have any facial hair at all, so. That's, I feel like that's really become a thing in like the past year period is facial hair has like become like my thing having a little bit of stubbly action going and a little stash. My stash is pathetic but I've always tried to have a stash but like this is now part of me. It's like I'm not used to seeing myself look like that. It's very odd to see. The cornstarch and baby powder just prevents it from sticking because when it's, when it's not, like at the moment it's not. For this one, that silicon, it does get very sticky. One other product that I would actually recommend, product, prosthetic, that I'd actually recommend you do that to would be a Mr. Limpty, Limpty. I'm really not doing very well, am I? A Mr. Limpy. So I have one because I wanted one for shits and gigs really, because it's like squishy and fun. Um, I don't think I've ever, actually worn it but they're pretty sticky too so Mr. Limpies and that like any silicon similar to that would probably benefit from a little bit of powder. I feel kind of weird recording myself I don't know why a camera is so intimidating look at me I've even got headphones in to try and comfort myself because it feels so freaking You poor weird. bugger. Well okay so that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be I don't know why I decided to make it unlisted for a little bit of time, but I did, and then I put it back up. Um, so I haven't watched that in a very long time. I just look very young. That's mostly my take on it, and very scared, 
that's about it. Thank you for subscribing if you have subscribed, and if you want to subscribe, you can do so. Um, I do mostly trans content and whatever else I really want to do. Usually most people just watch my content for the like trans help stuff for people in Australia, usually. If you have any suggestions for future content, let me know. Um, if you've specifically got any trans related questions or, or topics that you want me to talk about, leave them below because I feel like I want to talk about something but I don't know what to talk about with trans related things, like what people want like more information on and stuff like that. So that would be very much appreciated. Uh, if you like this video and this bit of a throwback, leave a like and that's about all. So I'll see you later.